Hey, what's going on guys? The Valley of Austin here, and today I just wanted to show you a quick video of what's been happening to Rocky lately whenever her engine starts up while it's hot. Now, this issue never happens when, uh, when her engine is fresh in the morning or it's cold. It only happens when I use her twice or like I stop by the store, grab something real quick for five minutes, come back in, and basically she makes that horrible noise and she won't start. So it's sort of like an intermittent start, and I've been kind of wondering, like, why would she do that? I'm trying to trace back, you know, her history, and uh, also the symptoms. So it's starting, there's enough electricity in uh, Rocky herself, and uh, her battery's good, her alternator's good. I know those for a fact. And uh, so there's four components that start a vehicle. It's spark, air, fuel, and compression. Now, I basically took my own time and uh, basically did process of elimination making sure that you know it wasn't air wasn't fuel Rocky's fuel pump is just fine um, the mass airflow sensor is fine air filter is fine and I finally came to the conclusion that Rocky's crankshaft position sensor might actually be damaged and the reason I say that was because we previously were having radiator issues when we were replacing Rocky's water pump and thermostat just because some of the anti-leak uh, anti for the coolant system actually clogged her heater core. Now, that actually caused her to overheat a little bit over the course of time. Now, also that being said, the crankshaft position sensor could have been worn down because of those overheating moments. Because I've never had an issue before Rocky started overheating that one time. So yeah guys, uh, this is a really quick installation of a Jeep WK and XK 3.7 liter V6 crankshaft position sensor. Alright, this is a, obviously a really quick repair. It's really easy and I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do it. Okay, before we jump in first, I previously already removed Rocky's sus suspension skid plate so that I can get access to underneath without using a jack stand. And of course I raised her hood up. And when dealing with electrical stuff such as the crankshaft position sensor, it's always a good idea to remove the negative terminal before dealing with any of the electrical stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to cut the video right here. Alright, so I simply took off Rocky's battery. And let's go ahead and jump to where the crankshaft is. So I've already hooked up a flood lamp for my outlet so we get a better picture of where the crankshaft position sensor is at. Sorry, there's a big garbage truck outside. Uh, so the crankshaft position sensor on Rocky is going to be behind her motor around here. So it's going to be the passenger side is where the crankshaft position sensor is. Now camshaft is somewhere over here, but for this case we're doing crankshaft. So let's go ahead and look underneath here. And right behind this, the lamp's not... I want you guys to be able to get a good picture of what I'm looking at, so... Where that little plug is, where my finger's pointing, see that little screw? That's, uh, that's the crankshaft position sensor, so we do have to unhook that electrical inlet, unscrew that, and after that the crankshaft position sensor just should just come out pretty easily. Okay guys, so I just took this sensor out. This is the old one, and this is the new one. So that's Pearson. For this plug, I just wanted to let you know that when you do take the crankshaft sensor out, you, do, you don't click anything 
on the electrical cord itself to take out the out the inlet. And you can see it's just just hanging right there. It's hanging right there by that yellow dot. And I had issues with that trying to get that off. But it's off now. And uh yeah, so just pull it straight out. There's nothing you click, and it was frustrating me for about a good five minutes. But old ones out, new ones in. Cool. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dab some oil on here real quick. Make sure it's the right oil. And afterwards, just plug it back in. Um, let me find the screw for the sensor. Yeah, this is the bracket for the sensor, and. So he's 9.8. I forgot which socket I used. Let me, let me just tell you the socket real quick, just so you have information. So I used a 17 by 32. And of course, I'm using the book because I, I got confused by this stupid little plug here. And uh, yeah, just pull it straight out. It's not a clip or anything. All right, so let me go ahead and do what I need to do real quick. All right, so I just oiled everything can't really see but basically it's super easy just put the crankshaft sensor back and it's really tight in here because I'm not using a jack stand or anything so I'm just gonna plug this in real quick and show you what the ending uh, product looks like hey right, guys so as you can see the thing with the little pink wires I just hooked up everything back up and uh, that's just Go ahead and see what happens next. We're gonna go ahead and start Rocky. Of course, we first have to reconnect the negative terminal. It's been a long day, by the way. I I would take my time and like, you know, record down there with the flashlight on, but it's just, eh, it's kind of been a rough week, college stuff. All right. So now that that's on, let's go ahead and start Rocky up. And for the moment of truth, it's freezing all up in here too. Let her prime up a bit. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, done deal, guys. Done deal. New crankshaft works. Everything's running fine now. Rocky. I can't tell if she sounds different or not right now. But I've also been losing uh, some valuable miles per gallon while the crankshaft was whatever, whatnot. So maybe the crankshaft is to blame. I'm going to try one more time, and after that, I'll call it good. Awesome. She's definitely got some more kick into her now. I noticed that, like, she's... Mm. Yeah, there's, there's a huge difference, because she used to lag a little bit every time she started. And uh, now... One more time, one more time, yeah? Key out... Key in. Three, two, one. <laughs> she works like a charm now. Because every time, second, third time, or whenever I stop by the gas station or whatever, she, she just, she's out of it. Just intermittent stalling. guys, Valley of Awesome back here again, and I just wanted to do a really quick update. So, Rocky's been doing a lot better. 
Um, I've monitored her for the past five days, I guess. And uh, I just got back from college and I just wanted to make this quick update. So she's starting up really strong, uh, no more stalling. I noticed that her miles per gallon has just gotten a lot better. Like I guess she dropped in her uh, fuel economy, but now she's, she's doing a lot better. So yeah, and uh, I also noticed one really weird thing right away when I started driving her after the crankshaft position sensor uh, fix. She started feeling like a sports car. I'm like, crazy, crazy sports car. And uh, I guess it was all the horsepower being gained back from the power loss from a bad crankshaft position sensor. And yeah, I, I was just kind of surprised at first. Like, she just felt like a lot faster, not sluggish anymore. So Rocky, she's doing much better now. All right, guys, so I'm going to have to do homework on my college stuff. So yeah, that's how you change crankshaft position sensor for the WK. If you're having any WK issues with intermittent starting, um, I hope that this video can help you in any way, uh, pin pinning down to what the starting problem is. All right, guys, so remember to drop a like, leave a comment. Every single one of my subscribers watching this, I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, thanks for watching, all of your likes, I really appreciate it as well. Alright, catch y'all next video, peace out.